Fungi. Fungi are a life form with over a million species. Neither plant nor animal, it incorporates features of both. Like plants, they are not very mobile. They are rooted to the earth and grow fruit to reproduce. Like animals, they cannot make their carbon chains or organic compounds from the CO2 in the air and rely on plants for that who can live just from bacteria, earth, water and sunshine. Fungi live off of anything organic, plant or animal, living or dead. Fungi are nature's garbage men, ensuring that dead organic matter decomposes to be recycled. Sometimes fungi kill whoever they live on, overtaking them like weeds, choking a garden. Other times fungi form partnerships with other organisms like it does with alga or seaweed to form the symbiotic organism called lichen. Like in a husband and wife partnership, both benefit. Fungi are abundant worldwide. They are found in every environment from deserts and areas with high salt concentrations to outer space with its high ionizing radiation and in undersea sediments under high pressures. Ancient peoples have used fungi as food sources, often unknowingly for millennia, in the preparation of leavened bread and fermented juices. Fungi are categorized into two groups, single cell yeasts and multi-cell molds. Yeasts. There are only about 1,500 species of yeast. They favor neutral to acidic environments with pH as low as 5. Yeast size can vary greatly depending on the species, typically measuring 3 to 4 micrometers in diameter, although some yeasts can reach over 40 micrometers. As a comparison, the width of a human hair is 100 micrometers. Yeast is used as a leavening agent for bread and in fermentation of various food products such as wine from grape and beer from barley and wheat. Yeast converts carbohydrates to carbon dioxide used to leaven breads and into alcohols used to make intoxicating beverages. Many yeasts are parasites on plants and animals, sometimes killing the host. Other yeasts, like candida, attack mouth and vagina cavities. While their presence is clearly visible, they themselves are too small to be seen. While yeast are single-celled organisms that don't have a long life, molds can reach extraordinary dimensions and ages. It can extend over an area of more than 9 square kilometers and can be over 9,000 years old. Molds grow in multicellular filaments called hyphae, collectively called mycelium. Hyphae are cylindrical, thread-like structures, 2 to 10 micrometers in diameter and up to several centimeters in length. They resemble microscopic roots and, like roots, can anchor to ground or tissue, penetrate it, and branch and grow unnoticed underneath it. Despite their size, molds only become noticeable when fruiting above the ground as mushrooms, or when they are uncovered and seen as mildew or mold. Most grow in terrestrial environments, though several species live partly in aquatic habitats and spend part of their life cycle like sperm cells, searching, finding, and penetrating amphibian hosts. Molds are ubiquitous in nature, and mold spores are a common component of household and workplace dust. However, when mold spores are present in large quantities, they can cause allergies and respiratory problems. Molds can thrive on many organic materials, including clothing, leather, paper, the ceiling, walls, and floors 
with poor moisture control. Molds need moisture and organic material to grow on even if it's thinly smeared on ceramic tiles or plastic. Like yeast is used to ferment sugars in fruits to make CO2 and alcohol, molds are used to ferment soybean and wheat mixtures to make soybean paste and soy sauce. Molds break down the starch and rice, barley and sweet potatoes to make a high alcoholic content drink called sake. Many fungi are parasites on plants and animals, sometimes killing them. Other fungi can attack eyes, nails, hair, skin, like in ringworm, and between the toes, like an athlete's foot. Many fungi cause food spoilage and many fungi are poisonous to humans. Molds sometimes form partnerships called symbiosis with organisms as seen in lichens, man and nature. Most plants depend on fungi for their uptake of inorganic compounds such as nitrates and phosphates. Several groups of ants cultivate fungi as their primary food source. Penicillin protects organisms like man against certain bacteria. Certain molds help man make types of cheeses like the blue colored Roquefort with unique flavor and texture. Other mushrooms give man and perhaps other animals hallucinations. Certain fungi help nature in degrading insecticides, herbicides, coal tars, and heavy fuels and turn them into carbon dioxide, water, and basic elements. Despite their visible contributions, molds are normally not seen until they grow fruit called mushrooms. Mushrooms, identifying and eating mushrooms. Presence of juices upon breaking, bruising reactions, odors, tastes, shades of color, habitat, and season are all considerations for identifying a mushroom. The most definitive identifying feature is the spores, which are all unique to each species. Edible mushrooms are a good source of vitamin D if they have been exposed to light. Like the meats they replace so well in cooking, they are a good source of B vitamins. They are high in the essential minerals selenium, copper and potassium and have medicinal uses in traditional Chinese medicine. A few mushrooms contain deadly toxins. Eating the mushroom called destroying angel and the death cap is the most common cause of deadly mushroom poisoning. The sex lives of molds. Compared to the sex lives of yeasts who divide without sex and go their own way until they die, molds really have it romantic. Like a man and a woman, spreading mycelia from one mold finds the mycelia of another in the darkness and they fuse together into an interconnected network, giving birth to cells with more than one nucleus, which grow like a child and form spore-bearing fruit called mushrooms. About a billion spores or sperms are produced on the gills and fall in a fine rain of powder from under the caps as a result. Spores, like sperms and eggs, find each other and fuse and grow to be fruit-bearing organisms. As the spores fall to the earth, they germinate like seeds and form a spreading circle as seen by a ringworm when it penetrates and grows on skin.